Hello, Mr. Red Rock Cat. Uh, it's nice to uh, see your videos on YouTube of uh, all your jet ski work. Um, really enjoy your tutorials. I especially enjoy the one video you have where you're showing everybody how you build from scratch or from ground up the Sea Dew 1503 engine. Uh, up to 350 horsepower. I thoroughly enjoy that video because you show how to do it step by step. Um, I must say I learn a lot from your knowledge of jet skis and sea dews. So I have an 07 RXT215 that I bought used about five years ago and rode it for several years and then I figured out I wanted more power out of it. So, getting familiar with uh, PWC Muscle and Green Hulk and some of these more prominent jet ski outlets, um, I went ahead and invested in the 260 horsepower X Charger upgrade that PWC Muscle offers for the 215 skis. Well, I went ahead and bought that kit Got the supercharger, got the green injectors, the 42 pounders, um, got the map tuner X from Riva, uh, got Jesus Garcia to write me like four different tunes, um, all the way up to a 9200 RPM tune. And then there's like a an 8600 RPM and an 8300 RPM. And I've tried them tunes out and found out that the 9200, the, the ski doesn't like that high of an RPM. And I know it's pushing a limit on that stock rotating assembly and that Fortec. So I would just settle with the 8600 RPM tune. And uh, put the X charger on there. Put the green 42 pound injectors in the intake. Uh, took the restrictive factory uh, intercooler out of the intake, capped it off, bought the Fizzle F1000 intercooler, which is amazing with the, the throttle response and the, the get up and go that that ski had with the X Charger, the 42 pounders, and that intercooler. Amazing acceleration. Feels like a 300 horsepower ski. Um, But I got into some trouble when after many, many months of running that setup, the ski ran flawless and it ran fine with the X-Charger because it was all matched from the uh, technicians who, who did all the research. Um, well, I decided I would upgrade to the Fizzle X4 Supercharger, which has the red wheel in it, um, and it's boasting 16 PSI, which is considerably a lot more power over the X charger, which is rated at 10 PSI. So I put the Fizzle X4 supercharger in place, and I figured uh, without knowing the air fuel ratio or putting a meter on it in the in the exhaust manifold, I would run the uh, Siemens 60-pound uh, DECA injectors. So I ran the 60-pound injectors, which is quite a step up from the 42s, and ran the Fizzle X4. So I took it out one time on the lake. And with that supercharger, which is supposedly a lot more powerful over the X charger, my ski ran slower and it eventually overheated within like three minutes. Uh, blew a head gasket. Uh, I blew all the coolant out, which is typical for those skis. When you know you blow a head gasket, you blow all the coolant out the bottle. And I had to get towed back to dock. So when I got home, tore the head off, and sure enough, I blew the head gasket. Well, I also blew more than that. The number two piston, which is the middle of the motor, as you can see in the pictures, that piston was chewed up on the edges, uh, opposite of each other. And fragments were clanking around inside the combustion chamber, literally as the ski was idling, I could literally hear like as if it was a nut or a bolt pinging inside of the cylinder. Um, and I'm not sure if 
you know, something actually got in there, but it was probably just the defragmenting of the, of the piston top, um, which was causing blow by into the crankcase and causing gray debris to get into my oil. Um, and I was losing compression, so it wasn't running quite as fast. You know, compression was like 120 in the other cylinders, but only like 60 or 70 in the center cylinder, which is the one that was chewed up. So I was definitely losing compression on that middle cylinder. So my question is, was that X charger, not the X charger, was the X4 fizzle supercharger too much boost for that stock Fortec? 1503 um and did i have the wrong injectors did i have injectors that were too small for the x charger because if i'm going from 10 psi boost to 16 psi boost i know i'm needing bigger injectors i just don't know how much i need i don't know do i need 100 pound injectors or 80 pound injectors so i ran the 60s with the x4 and I don't know what I did wrong because it chewed up that number two piston top. And also, correspondingly, it chewed up the cylinder head at the top of the combustion chamber where the valves are. The valves seemed fine, but around the rim of that cylinder top, it was all just chewed up just like the piston that you see in the pictures. Um, and I don't know what other tune to run with that setup. Like, I don't know how to get more power more than 260 horsepower out of that x4 supercharger with 16 pounds of boost uh if i can find a way to 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 get the motor set up right with that x4 supercharger then i could probably make close to 300 horsepower maybe uh do you think you can help me give some pointers on what i would need to do to set a Fortec, a 1503 uh cc motor up with an x4 supercharger i mean what i need 80 pound injectors or you know i have a map tuner i just don't know what what kind of tune i would need or what i just need to go ahead and install the uh the aftermarket um air fuel ratio kit into the exhaust port exhaust manifold and get a a, a air fuel ratio uh reading so um, I put a, a a nice paint job on my uh, RXT. Um, it's not this bland red and white anymore. It's got some black accents and some red and some white and a bunch of little stripes going on and a little bit of chrome accents. So I hope you like that. The ski's down right now, um, but I plan on at the end of this summer getting another engine for it. Um, I could go to SBT and buy a crate engine. 1503 for it uh supercharged for like 3000 3200 something like that um and it comes with the uh all the gaskets and everything uh i still have my pto housing uh put away so i'm gonna reuse that of course um and then put it back together and drop it in the ski and i'll have a totally fresh setup new pistons and all of that so uh, I appreciate your input, man. Uh, let me know what you think, because I want to get that RXT back on the water. It's going to need a new engine. Putting a new engine is no problem. It's just tuning it is where I'm struggling. I, I want to make that X4 supercharger work and pull, hopefully, in anywhere from 280 to, to 300 horsepower and be able to run like these 300 horsepower skis. Um, that would be great to pull that out of a 2007 jet ski, being that's so old. But it's so simple, too, at the same time. I've got no reverse bucket on it. I've got the uh, the back Venturi nozzle open air. Uh, I've got no more, you know, uh, uh, I took all the fins off the back, all that, the, uh, the assisted steering and all that. I took all that Opus kit. Um, everything's got block offs. It's got uh, the Riva Sponsons, the racing Sponsons. Um, and uh, I shortened the intake. I put a, a power filter kit on it. The ski ran a strong 78.5 miles per hour. And I'm including a picture of my E-Trek, my Garmin uh, GPS. It hit 78.5 miles per hour. The fastest I ever went with calm water 
no wind, and about maybe half a tank of fuel and myself. And I hit that speed taking the cargo compartment out of the ski so the front was very light and raised up in the air a good bit. Um, I'm running the stock uh, intake grate, not running any kind of winged intake grate, so it's just the stock two bars. Um, and I'm also running a Solas Concord stainless prop running a 1319R to get that speed. Um, I heard guys running the 1520R, but I'm not quite going that big just yet. Uh, but let me know what you think, man. I, any input would help me. Uh, you're a very smart guy, man. I see all your videos. I love your videos, man. Uh, and even your gun videos and all that are, are great, too. So, uh, give me some feedback on this video, man. Let me know what you think, because, uh, I want to build my ski to its maximum potential. Uh, I just still learning how to tune it. And if I run the X4 with 16 pounds of boost, how big injectors do I need? Because I don't want to blow another piston. And I know that that big supercharger is what blew that piston up. I was probably running a little too lean and probably got into some detonation, which we know will tear up a piston uh, or a cylinder. So, um, but anyway, man, let me know what you think. I uh, hope you like these pictures. This is kind of what I can give you for right now. And uh, just let me know what you think, man.